vectors of gravity. The Earth's mantle is a rare treasure cargo, a cradle of life itself, water. substance that pervades all life as the source of vitality. The special nature of water permits its varied forms, creating the endless cycle from sea surface to cloud to rain to the Earth's great rivers. The water of Earth is the essence of life's continuity. Our vital drink did once and shall again flow through the gills of sharks and over the backs of great whales. mysterious embracing form than in the vast oceans, life source of all creatures. At the apex of the landbound, man now probes the restraining liquid barrier of the seas. In doing so, he engages his marine counterparts at the pinnacle of ocean life, the unequaled leaders of the waterbound, the regal orcas, or killer whales. the sea are personified in Orca, the great killer whale. Orcas are hydrodynamic perfection, detailed in black and white. They are uncontested predators patrolling the margins of continents. Air-breathing mammals, like man, they are cruisers of the surface, navigators of the interface between the sea and sky. Great dorsal fins are leaders of nomadic families of females and young. These hunting packs patrol coastal bays, speaking to each other with shrill whistles, staccato clicks, and mighty fin slaps.
telltale shapes and body patterns, aquatic fingerprints individually mark each animal, confirming a strong group unity, a bond that keeps the pod together. Centuries ago, coastal Indians revered orca as gods. Decades ago, they were despised as the scourge of fishermen and killers of men. Today, they are returned to the status of demigod, respected and viewed with awe. The powerful grace of the killer whale is driven by massive muscle and complex brain. Yet such choreography is found in lower life forms. The delicate pulse of jellyfish is animated by simple nerves and gossamer tissue, forming an inner space traveler unparalleled on the land. swimming kin of the bottom-bound corals and sea anemones. Substitute color for sound, and corals become a seated orchestra, while jellyfish perform the ballet. Jellyfish are among the simplest forms of ocean life. Their tissue is 95% water. Yet jellyfish sail the main of inner space like galactic galleons, armed with stinging cells and reproductive tissue that glows with the promise of the next generation. While midwater jellyfish drift the vast oceans between seafloor and surface, polar creatures dwell beneath the sea's second hard edge, the glassy, sculpted undersides of massive sea ice. The under-ice corridors of Antarctica challenge the senses of balance and direction. Tropic waters radiate blue and green, but the ice-bound water of Antarctica is dazzling white in glacial air. The ocean ice cap here is sculpted by wind and current, forming an undersea vista of Gothic design. The still but not lifeless sea floor is carpeted with ice crystals, and the frozen silence is pierced by the groan of shifting blocks of ice. floats, forming a fractured barrier ten feet thick 
between sea and sky. Yet here in this icy realm, Waddell seals, unique creatures of the southern sea, successfully hunt in frigid, ice-bound chambers. Seals are deep divers with sonic senses, navigating their way through the labyrinth of fractured ice back to life-sustaining air. Confined to a world of sub-freezing water and surface temperatures of minus 80, polar life endures, surviving in the most hostile environment on Earth. Tenuous, the great Antarctic undersea ice canopy represents the last earthbound frontier man has yet to explore. Hostility of polar seas is paralleled in other oceans. For eons, sharks have challenged man's oceanic adventures. And no member of the shark realm can match the fearless attack and power of the great white. the inevitability of death in nature, it can be seen in the expressionless black eye of this supreme predator. Hunters of marine mammals, white sharks patrol the shallows, creating chaos driving their prey to fatal error. struggle runs its course, as it has for millennia, each animal responding to the primal instincts of survival. Panic clouds judgment. The colony explodes. 
Jones. White shark is a more capable hunter than we ever imagined. Its eyes keen, its brain complex. Life in the sea requires food for survival. Sharks take sustenance by action and force. But creatures of the sea floor, sponges, corals, and anemones, patiently filter nutrients drifting in the currents. shallow seas where sunlight prevails, the diversity of life is unparalleled. Nowhere on earth can one find more varied forms of life in such close proximity. The use of color by these undersea communities remains, for the most part, a mystery. Life forms on the reef are complex and varied. Feeding techniques unique. Plant life prolific. Most stationary reef dwellers feed on tiny waterborne particles drifting in the current. The competition for space is evident as communities spread. Bizarre relationships are formed by very different animals. Every niche of the sunlit shallows is a stunning celebration of life.
Until recently, sunlight and the process of photosynthesis were thought responsible for the very existence of all life in the sea. But new discoveries of equally beautiful life forms thriving at 10,000 feet have changed that. Animals related to those of the shallows live miles deep among the Earth's hot thermal vents, spawn of chemosynthesis. secrets slowly, and tomorrow's discoveries await us. The very sea floor where sedentary corals are found is a roadway traveled by itinerant life forms. Among these creatures is a unique master of stealth, camouflage, and high-speed flight, the octopus. Tentacled chameleon of the undersea world, the octopus is an eight-armed master of disguise. large family that includes clams, scallops, and squid. His brain is keen, his eyes the sharpest of the invertebrate world. A complex nervous system controls a multitude of functions skin texture, color, and locomotion. An octopus can move with a slow, deliberate crawl or blast through midwater, jet propelled. Self-assured and ever alert, ready to ambush an unsuspecting prey, ready to flee a deadlier foe. Through millennia, no creature has captivated our imagination more than the great whales. Early man could only glimpse these aquatic giants, leaving him mystified and fearful. Today, we venture into their domain with a new appreciation. displays quicken our pulse. We marvel at their grace and exuberance. Humpback whales are winged wanderers that range like living submarines from Arctic feeding grounds to tropic lagoons. Whales spark a kinship within us but we are linked to a common ancestry. There is a rare and special
special quality in Wales that touches our soul. A sensitivity for one another. A bond that may surpass our own. Unlike other whales, humpbacks sing a mysterious, beautiful, undersea song. Each note is faithfully repeated by courting males and reverberates through the undersea canyons, perhaps to entice a partner. new calves are at home in tropic waters, they begin their 5,000-mile journey to the Arctic to re-nourish for another season. Adults mature at 50 feet, approaching 100,000 pounds. Front flippers extend 12 feet to serve in submarine flight. Sadly, not always at nature's hands. Like tombstones marking a murky grave, remnants of a bloodier era stir sadness in our hearts. The message on this desolate sea floor is obvious. A message fortunately heard only a heartbeat from eternal silence. again echo through the deep sea canyons of the undersea world. If whales are the graceful tenors of the ocean, sea lions are the dashing soloists of underwater ballet. Their supple bodies make them barnstormers of the undersea realm. Sea lions are maestros of aquatic rhythm and undersea dance rehearsing endlessly for the very joy of performance. No other family of marine creatures begins to approach the aquatic capabilities of these amphibious clowns. Science teaches that all behavior has logical cause and consequence. Still, the verve and vitality of these nimble tumblers says clearly, we dance for the joy of it. today's strong in number, ensuring their 
their survival. Sea lions are master choreographers of fluid motion, rolling, turning, and spinning with breakneck rushes. communities reflect a bizarre spectrum of unlikely neighbors in a beautiful but deadly arena where life is tenuous. Predator and prey have evolved remarkable disguises to deceive their rivals that they might survive another day. Diversity is the standard of life in the sea. Diversity of shape, color, and movement. The sea snake, highly venomous patroller of the ocean floor. Spiny lobsters, lurk in rocky crevices. Rockfish hover near the seafloor to ambush the unsuspected. Cousin to the lobster, a sponge crab ingeniously camouflages his shell that he might escape a hungry hunter's eye. spines awaits to gulp passing prey with eye-blinking speed, while the moray eel, snake-like but fish-brained, slithers forth to challenge all intruders. Relentlessly searching, the sea snake is watched by its reptilian relative, the sea turtle. patiently awaits a prey. A whiskered, bottom-dwelling shark, the Wabagong lives in sharp contrast to its sleek midwater kin. surface to craggy bottom is a strange menagerie of the unusual, where predator and prey exist side by side, awaiting nature's signal that triggers their decisive conflicts. shallow coastal waters of the Pacific, sea floor and surface are joined by luminous strands, 
forests of golden kelp reach upward, spreading amber-leaved canopies over vast tracts of the sea. Sunlight is the prime energy source for the great biomass of the sea. Plants, from minute to massive, fix the spark of sun in their fiber and draw life from it. Most spectacular of these sunlight captors are the lush Pacific kelp forests. Enormous, rootless plants, kelp can virtually grow before our eyes, at times a foot a day. Seeking life-giving solar rays, great Pacific kelp forests create vaulting cathedral canopies that give sanctuary to multitudes of creatures. The leafy density of a submarine forest checks the fury of ocean storms. Floor from raging turbulence. of life on Earth, a wondrous resource of staggering dimensions. It is ironic that man has overcome the restraint of gravity and races toward new worlds, leaving seven-tenths of his planet unexplored. approach the 21st century, an unparalleled undersea adventure awaits us. An inner space journey that quickens our pulse, because the pulse that beats within us was born of the sea and the kinship there. for the stars, and now we must reach again. At no other point in man's history has the need for a harmonious coexistence with the sea been more vital. The challenge of the deep frontier has begun.
a bastion of capitalism in the Orient. Financial markets drive the economies of Hong Kong and Singapore as an ancient culture immerses itself in high technology. Stay tuned for A World Away, next. Thank you.